Okay, this is a screencast for students who would like to create fantastic headings for their Ultranet spaces. And this is a website that I like to use because it allows us to download the headings that we make and to keep them on our computers until we're ready to upload them into our Ultranet spaces. And this website is called Flaming Text and you'll find it at this address, flamingtext.com.au. So that's what you need to type into the address bar. Now, just before we get started creating our heading, I'd like to point out this ad over here on the right-hand side, the one that says, attention, you have the chance to be an iPad 2 winner. And just point out that we know that that's not actually true, that that's a trick and it's trying to get us to click on that to go to the website and possibly spend money. So it's just an advertisement and we don't want to go to that website. So we'll just ignore that. And when we scroll down the page a little bit, we can start to see the kinds of headings that we can create at this website. There's some featured logos that are there and we might choose one of those. Or if we wanted to look at all of the available headings, you would click on this All button here and you'd see all 147 different kinds of headings that you might like to create. But just for today, I'm going to choose this one here called Glow, just to show you how it works. So you click on the heading that you would like to, to create and then we can start to put in the words that we would like in our heading. So here where it says Logo Text, we need to type in the heading that we would like to have. So I'm going to call this the name of my project, which is about natural disasters. So I'll type that in there. And then this heading will start to change into the words that I've created. So there's my heading. The next thing that I would need to look at is what font size I would like it to be. So that's what 70 looks like. Now I could use this slider to drag it up and make it a bit bigger but I don't want to go any further than that line there because all of this area, the larger sizes of the heading, is for people who are going to pay for their headings. So I'm going to drag it down. I probably don't want it to be very big, so I'm going to leave it at 99. Then I need to choose what font I would like my heading to be in. So if I click on the little arrow over on this side, it lists some fonts for me and I can go down and choose the one that I like the best for my heading. So there's lots of choices. You can click on any of these um, categories on the side and you'll get a different heading. There's one with snow. That might be good for natural disasters. I might pick that one. So that will change my heading up here. Oh, well, that's pretty cool. Then when I scroll down a little bit further, I can decide what text color I want it to be. So that's what color is on the inside of the writing. So at the moment it's white. I might have a look at this colour chart and change that and I might make it yellow. So I'll just click on the yellow one there. And now I get to choose what kind of glow colour I would like to have. So I might make my glow colour red. That's pretty scary. And I'll just drag that up here. That's a lot like a natural disaster. So I'll have that. Oh, yeah, there's my heading up there. Now if I'm happy with that size of glow around my heading, I can leave it at 2 or I can drag the slider along and make that glow a little bit bigger. That's great. So I'll just leave that there. Now I can choose whether I would like the background, that's the behind the heading, to be transparent or see-through or whether I would like it to be a colour, in this case white, or whether I would like it to be a pattern or not. And I might have mine as white. So I'll leave it as white. And I go down. I can leave it to auto size or I can make some changes with these numbers. I'm going to leave it on auto and I'm just going to click the button create logo. So that's what you would do. And then it creates my logo. There it is, just the way I want it. And then I get the choice. It's free if I'm going to use it for academic use and that means it's free for me to use at school. So I don't have to pay for it. And here are my options for saving it. I can edit it and go back and make some changes to it, or I can download it, or I could choose to get the embed code and use that in Ultranet. But for today, I'm going to download it to my desktop and then I'll upload it to Ultranet later. So I'll just click on the download button. 
and it tells me it's going to call it cool logo so I'll click on save file and OK and that will save my file to the desktop and I can go back and change the name of that file to my heading name and then I can upload it to Ultranet later. So that's how to make a fantastic heading using flaming text.